before I start this video, I want to ask you to support me by subscribing to my channel. And please like this video if you find it helpful. And of course, if you have some questions or suggestions, welcome to the comments. And we jump right in. Hi everyone! Today's topic will be a logical continuation of the topic about controller. And it's dedicated to the argument resolver pattern. But first I'll remind you what the essence of this project is and what I actually plan to do. So I have a microservice in DDD architecture style that sends emails triggered by a user form. But actually I use Postman for developing. Upon successful sending, a confirmation email is sent back to the user. I implemented this using a publisher subscriber pattern with Symphony's Messenger bundle and RabbitMQ. Currently, my controller handles processing the request and creating command objects for feedback and confirmation emails. But I want to move the request processing and command object creation logic into a custom resolver argument. This is briefly what I have done and will do. If you want to dive deeper into the project, watch the previous videos. And we move on. The argument resolver pattern is a design pattern used in web frameworks, particularly in the context of MVC or model view controller architecture. For example, Symfony uses an argument resolver mechanism to automatically resolve and inject values into controller actions based on the types of their parameters. The primary goal of the argument resolver pattern is to simplify the process of mapping incoming request data, such as query parameters, request attributes, and more, to the parameters of a controller action. This allows for a more automated and flexible handling of the inputs required by controller methods. Um, actually, Symfony comes with several built-in value resolvers that can be used to automatically resolve the values of controller arguments. These resolvers can be used to simplify your code and make it more readable. In this video, I don't want to dwell on the topic of Symfony built-in value resolvers. Therefore, if this topic is interesting, stop the video and explore the presented infographic or just open official Symfony documentation. Well, we'll move directly to the topic of adding a custom value resolver. So, all our custom resolvers will be stored in the infrastructure folder. Now you need to create a class that implements the value resolver interface. This interface defines a contract for your custom resolver, ensuring it has the required functionality. So, the resolve is a crucial method within the value resolver interface, which is called for each argument of the controller. It takes two arguments. Request, an object of the request class representing the current HTTP request. An argument, an object of the argument metadata class containing information about the specific argument 
for which your resolver is being invoked. This information includes the argument's type, name, whether it's optional and other relevant details. The resolve method ought to yield either an empty array, if it is unable to resolve the argument, or an array containing the resolved values. Also, arguments are typically resolved as individual values. Variadic arguments involve resolving multiple values. This is why it is necessary to consistently return an array, even when dealing with single values. Now let's implement the resolve method. So first we need to get the argument type. This code checks if the type of the arguments being processed by the resolver does not echo the class createFeedbackEmail command. So, if this statement is true, an empty array is returned. Now we need to get the value from the request based on the argument name. Just let's explicitly define variables for each field from the request and make the code more understandable. So here we created a create feedback email command object. And finally re let's return the value object. Let's quickly create the same resolver for the create confirmation email command. And let's fix the controller. Now let's test whether the functionality works as expected. We will receive letters in mail catcher. So if you need explanation on this topic, watch the previous video. 
The links will now appear in the upper right corner. Ok, everything works as expected. Here's how it works. Uh, first, Symphony uh, discovers create a feedback email command and create confirmation email command as arguments. Second, Symphony searches for registered resolvers capable of creating them. In this case, there is no need to change the default Symphony settings. Search Symphony finds your resolver, which create feedback email command and create confirmation email command from the post request data. And then Symphony passes the created objects to the controller. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.